The kit review of the CLL DIY Cool Roof Restoration Kit. This is a kit that contains everything you need to do a roof restoration. It's an all-in-one solution. Anybody can do it. As long as you can actually get to your roof, you can actually do this application by yourself. There are no hidden or extra costs, and everything is designed to work together. You don't have to figure out if the cleaner will work with the material, if the material applies to the roof. Now, there are several different types of roofs. You got shingle roofs, either asphalt, clay, concrete, wood, composite, slate. You got TPO, rubber, or laminate roofs in homes. You got really nice aluminum or metal roofs, sink, for example. You got motorhome rubber roofs, EPDM or TPO. Or you got uh, motorhomes or trailer homes, aluminum roofs. All of them are good with a CLO DIY cool roof restoration kit. The most important thing is that these roofs normally require maintenance. But once you apply the material that we provide you with the kit, for 30 years you got a lifetime warranty. It requires very minimum, if any, maintenance at all. It actually goes down easy and you can do one roof of a motorhome in a matter of hours. You can do in a house maybe in a day or two at the most. Here's what comes in the entire kit. First of all, you're going to see that you have several gloves that you can use so you don't get the materials in your hand. You also have the EcoRoof Shampoo, which is an eco-friendly shampoo designed to clean the area in which you're going to do the application. This is purposely designed to work with the sealant that you're going to be applying, but more important, is eco-friendly. It's not going to damage the environment and it's not going to be a problem to the surroundings of your roof. Of course, we don't advise that you apply directly to your plants, but it will be okay. You also have the paste sealant. It even comes with the opening for the paste sealant uh, can, a little spatula, uh, if you actually need to clean your hands, you have heavy-duty cleaning wipes. You have a pretty comprehensive uh, guide application. You have a tub with all the sealant, a little stick to be able to mix it up. Actually, it's one of the most important steps is to mix the sealant properly so doesn't come all the light part of the sealant on the top and the heavy part of the sealant settle on the bottom. You need to mix it real good before you apply it. Now to apply it, the kit will provide you with several other tools. It will bring you two brushes, just in case you need them. It will bring you a roller and two roller applicators, just in case you need them. And more important than that, a mill gauge that would allow you to measure how thick is the layer you're applying. Normally we suggest between 22 to 28, 24 will be the idea mills, so you suggest, we suggest that you put it in and you can measure it. First thing you need to do is the surface preparation with the roof shampoo, and it's really easy. You clean the roof of all debris and hose down the whole area. Then you apply the roof shampoo following the instructions. Basically you apply it with any type of sprayer and then the roof shampoo is biodegradable and safe for rubber and TPO roofs so it doesn't have any petroleum distillates and you can use after that a brush that won't damage the roof surface. As you see here you apply it and you know what you can see this roof that we're applying and you're saying well how dirty can it be uh, it's already an incline the water from the rain will be already cleaning it but if we look closer you will see how dirty the water that is coming down from the roof is that is what the eco roof shampoo does it makes sure that you have a clean surface Look what it does in this motorhome roof. As you see, this motorhome roof was clean before, it looked clean, but the Eco Roof Shampoo does a great job. Surface repair with a paste sealant. As you were cleaning, I'm quite sure you noticed a few spots that needed to be fixed. Any gaps or loose surface should be fixed with the sealant. The sealant is applying as a paste with a spatula. It has a consistence of like toothpaste. The sealant is designed to work with the silicon coating 
It's a sealant, but it also can be used as an adhesive. For example, if you're working with shingles, it will actually allow you to adhere them. You can see here uh, the sealant, the old sealant around this vent was all cracked. So we cleaned it up and then we simply applied the sealant around it. Uh, the video you're watching is at fast speed, but uh, it's just simply applying the sealant with a spatula around the areas that you want sealed. In a motorhome, I would recommend, and in a mobile home, I would recommend that all the openings that you have sealant, you apply the paste sealant before applying the other one. In a roof with shingles, uh, anywhere the shingles are actually broken or lifted, uh, you can apply it, as you see here. I uh, apologize, but uh, that's what we were doing when we were applying it. I know it's moving a little fast, but again, it's just to show you how it is applied. The most important thing is that you apply the sealant so you allow the sealant to cover the gaps so the silicone goes on top of that sealant, created a uniform layer and allowing for that to be completely waterproof. Normally, as you're washing the roof, you will notice those areas. And it's a pretty simple and fast process. As you can see here, you will see it in a second, how I can go through and repair several spots pretty quick. You don't need to make it too conspicuous. You don't need to hide it because everything will be underneath the silicon coating, which is what we're going to show you now. The first step, and you're going to hear this more than once, is always mix the top before you open the containers, the most important part. Mix the silicon until the thickness is the same in the bottom than the top. Apply and even ensuring that there are no gaps and check the thickness of the coat with the mill gauge. See how I can actually lift the stick up? If there is more thickness in the bottom than the top, you need to keep steering. Shake the silicone before you open the top. As I said, I'm going to repeat it again because it's that important. You stir the silicone until you see it's uniform, okay? And don't let the silicone sit open for an extended period of time. Then you simply grab a broomstick and you start going with the roll. And you start rolling the silicone straight into the roof. You can check that there are no gaps, that you're covering everything with the silicone and it's a continuous layer. And if you want to know how thick the layer is, you need to put the mill gauge against the silicone layer and you can check to see how high it gets. You're looking for roughly around 24 mils of coverage. You can apply a little more. Here's a different application on a motorhome roof. And as you see, is pretty much like painting a floor. You can just dip into the bucket and put it into the motorhome. The good thing is that the silicone is self-leveling, so it would actually go into most of the little cracks you may have in a rubber roof. It's safe for a rubber roof application. Once you're done, the result should be an even layer of a white material that looks incredible. This is the finished product on a little shingle roof. And as you see, it looks really, really good. Now, the beauty of this is that it requires very little or no maintenance. Now, in the motorhome, this is how it looks in the motorhome. And believe me, the roof of this motorhome really needed a new roof. But with this, it's got to be good for 30 years. And it's going to be almost maintenance free. Thanks for visiting our site.